Afternoon, Harper. Mr. Cookson here, and I have brought you a video uh, with some instructions for how to complete your uh, Easter project. Uh, hopefully, you'll enjoy working on this project, and you will be able to produce lovely, attractive mathematical design such as this. Uh, this is a fractal pattern. Uh, it means that the same pattern is repeated over and over again in smaller and smaller. Uh, versions um, looks quite striking. You're going to make one of these. Boom. Okay, you're going to need the following: a pair of scissors, a pencil, a ruler, two pieces of paper of contrasting colours. Let's go. So this is based on you um, making the same measuring, cutting and folding action uh, repeatedly over and over again. Okay, so we're going to fold this piece of paper in half, lengthways like this, or widthways, but like this, so we end up with an A5 piece of paper. We then measure halfway along the length of this paper, it's 210 millimetres or 21 centimetres, so we want 10.5 centimetres. And then halfway across the paper, that's 148 millimetres or 14.8 centimetres. Measure it, mark it, and then cut. Okay, once we've cut that, we are going to fold it back like so, fold it down. So we've got a nice crease, open it up again, and hopefully this does what I want it to, he says, well hey, there we are, we end up with a nice L shape, okay. We are then going to do the same thing again, so we, we measure, this time we're measuring 10.5 centimetres ish, okay, so 5.25, should be the same over here, 5.25, yeah, good with that, and again measure it across the length. Um, if you've measured it accurately, you should be consistently doing the same measurements everywhere. Um, not being accurate to the odd millimetre here and there won't really affect your final answer, um, or your final product. Okay, and then we do the same thing again, we're going to cut, we're going to fold back, and uh, once we've done that, we're going to end up with something that looks like this, okay, so you can see we've got a kind of staircase kind of effect there, if we open it up, and we can see it's, it's starting to show that pattern that we talked about, okay, carry on like that, you do the same thing again, measure this distance, half it, measure this distance, half it, okay, carry on doing that until eventually, you get something that looks like this. Okay, we've got the staircase, we've got more steps. And if we open it up, you now we can see we've got that, that pattern there. Once you've done that, okay, you... I mean, I've done it three times. Um, you may be able to do it four times, but I think you might struggle because the folding gets quite difficult in with a lot of paper. Once you produce something that looks like this, you can then stick it down so that it's, uh, it's maximum attractiveness. Okay, and the best way to do that is take your contrasting piece of paper, glue stick, glue up your cutout. If you can fold it so that the side that's got the paper on, not the paper on, the side that's got the pencil on is hidden, uh, just looks a little bit neater. Okay, and then what I would do is take this and just make sure you get it. So it lines up with the, the corners of your contrasting piece of paper, like so. Glue all that down. Fold this over. So it lines up again nice and neat. Like so. And once you've done that, stick your glue on this side. Oh, oh I think 
you made a mess of this one. Are you going to get away with it? And then open it up. Yes. And there we go. Doesn't look quite as good with white on, on orange as the previous one did, but uh, you can see the idea. Okay. I hope you'll enjoy making this. Um, something nice to, to put on your mantle, please give to your parents. Um, stay safe, everybody. Stay at home. Look after each other. See you all soon. Mr. Cookson.